She wouldn't dare. Oh, the nerve of that woman. Well, <laughs> two can play at this game. Dear Mrs. Miller. No. Dearest Mrs. Miller. Wonderful to hear from you, as always. And I believe I speak for the entirety of the library staff when I extend my profound relief. To hear that your psoriasis treatment is progressing as planned. However, this does not change the fact that your copy, that our copy of Anne of Green Gables has been checked out from this branch of the Brooklyn Public Library since May 18th, 1998, and has thus incurred in late fees. This is, of course, regardless of whatever relationship a given patron of the library may share with its staff. We eagerly await your payment by whatever means you deem most convenient. Send my love to Max and the Corgis. Yours with love. The librarians of the central branch of the Brooklyn Public. Can you believe that? 20, 24, 24 years. You find that? It's ridiculous. Can I help you? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> the children's section is actually down the stairs. And to the left of the escalators in the central concourse, you're not looking for the children's section. Okay, well, so this is actually the reference desk. So it is not exactly within my purview to check out books to, oh, I should say my responsibility. You know what purview means? Sure you do. Why shouldn't you? Well, then you should have no trouble understanding how it would be a slight dereliction of my duties to help you with such a menial task when there could be far more important uses of my time. The library card. Yeah, technically I can get you a library card. Providing, of course, that you can spell your name. Oh, you can? Well, why don't you prove it, huh? Right there. Thank you. Is that Polish? Uh, the 
Lithuanian. Did you come here with a, a parent or a, a trusted older friend? No? You're alone. Let's see, you just moseyed over to the library after the school bell rang. You're homeschooled. That explains a lot. Okay, so kid, there's actually a couple more pieces of documentation that I'm going to need to be able to issue a library card. So why don't you come back on a day when you can get yourself a parent or guardian to chaperone you, and uh, then we'll see what we can do about gay. You, you brought them. You looked online, and you brought the documentation necessary. Great. Aren't you just the picture of preparedness? Okay, fork them over. Let me see. Proof of address. Is it... Is this a W-2? Why do you have a... Are you employed? So your parents run the place, and you work there on weekends. Eager to join the workforce, are we? Yeah, I suppose this will do fine. This is um, Sunset Park, right? How do you like it down there? Wait a second, what are you... Why'd you come all the way up here? Well, yeah, but there are branches of the library far further south. Well, yeah, but any branch can issue a library card. <laughs> well, will you look at that? We found something that you don't know. No, it's fine. You're here now. Just stay. I'll get it done. Okay, so I can issue a standard white library card, or this month we have a special piece of art inspired by where the wild things are. You want that? I thought you might. Okay. It, it's printing. It's printing. And there you are. Your very own library for you to take out into the world with a renewed sense of purpose and uh, leave me to my manifold duties here at the reference desk. You're not done. You want to check out books. How do you have books to check out? You did not have a library card but ten seconds. You got them beforehand. Sure. Why shouldn't you have? Okay, show me. Show me the book. The Longest Journey, E.M. Forrester. How old, how old were you again? No, I know you didn't say, but... <laughs> you see, kid, this is an awfully dense piece of fiction. It concerns the goings-on of um, early 20th century Cambridge students. It's pretty cerebral. No, I'm not saying that you couldn't get it. I'm just saying that, well, I mean, by the looks at you, it feels like you wouldn't. No, I guess technically I can muster no objection to you checking out this book. Content-wise, I just, I mean, a lot of it'll go over your head, but I don't think it's grossly inappropriate. Fine, yeah, all right, so. How it works is, your name goes on this slip in the back cover. God, that's so many consonants. So, this is a transfer of stewardship, in a sense. 
You have to take good care of this until which time that you bring it back and it is in the possession of the library system once again, right? You get this book for three weeks and not a second longer. It must be back in circulation by then or you will incur a late fee of eight cents a day, which doesn't sound like much, but trust me, it can add up. Is that all? More books, sure, the more the merrier. The children of the future. Really? Uh, no, it, it is a good book. It's just the, the parable of the sower, Octavia Butler. No. It's just that there's some content in here that I think might be disturbing to young minds. If I'm being honest, there's, there's a darkness to the subject matter. Y you like science fiction. Right? No, I just guessed from the everything about you. Well, you see, kid, it's not precisely high sci-fi in the way that you might be used to. There's no starships or lightsaber duels. It's it's like a very perceivable dystopian future. A dystopia is like a you know what a dystopia is, right? Why wouldn't you? Honestly, I don't know if I can allow you to check this out in good conscience. I think that there are elements of the plot that are going to be inappropriate for your age group. A note? You have a note from your parents? Sure, let me see it. Well, it's awfully clear to see who you get your handwriting from. any and all books that they see fit to check out. I can't accept this. Why? Oh, because it's a blatant forgery, which is a crime, by the way, misdemeanor. It's a fake. No adult would start a letter, Dear All Librarians. Come on, you can't kid an old kidder. You wouldn't believe how many periods of Jim I skipped in my day with this sort of shenanigans. No, this one goes back on the pile. There's just no chance. You all set? Are you going to test my patience further? You've got one more. Sure, let me see. Better not be zen in the art of motorcycle maintenance. <laughs> no, there's just no chance. In cold blood? Do you even know what this is about? How do you know what this is about? Oh, you watched Capote. Sure, and now you want to familiarize yourself with the subject matter. No, there's just no chance. Why? <laughs> well, it's about murderers, for one. And the language, for another thing. Plus, why are you even reading this sort of thing? You know, we have a wide selection of Magic Treehouse books in the children's concourse. No, okay, you're not interested, of course. Why should you be? You're only a child for no, this one goes back to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, you come back with a real parent or a real note therefrom, and maybe we'll talk. But no, not this time. Are we finished? Who is Mrs. Miller? How do you even know that? Were you eavesdropping? You little snoop. <sighs> well, if you absolutely have to know, Mrs. Miller is a prominent benefactress of this branch of the Brooklyn Library System, which means that she... Right. You know what a benefactor is. Why shouldn't you? Well, yes, she pays for large portions of our collection to be maintained and restored. Does a lot of important work for the library at our various fundraising events and galas, but feels that this privileged position entitles her to mistreat the library staff and take flagrant liberties with our late book policies. Precisely. No, it is very disrespectful to the institution. Right, because a library should be the, gr the great leveler. Exactly, everyone should have equal access to the books in question. And when somebody bogarts a book for an extended period of time, they take it out of the hands of someone who might benefit from it, intellectually. Oh, this is exactly my point. 
Yeah, yeah, so as a matter of fact, she does. Uh, the penthouse on uh, Vanderbilt, yeah. What, what do you mean, send her a message? No, I I don't condone any such, but... Kid, wait, get, come back. Oh my God, kid. Dear Mrs. M Dearest Mrs. Uh, Miller, I would just like to make absolutely clear that we, the librarians of the central branch of the Brooklyn Public Library, um, have absolutely no part to play in any sort of acts of vandalism that may or may not befall your gorgeous and austere property on Vanderbilt Avenue. Wishing you continued success with your treatment, sincerely and with love, the librarians of the Central Branch of the Brooklyn Public Library.